this is Tom from North County Lomar. Just wanted to go over some um, line loading on different heads. Right now, we're going to start with the Echo Speed Feed head, which you don't necessarily have to take apart to put line in, but I'm going to take it apart just in case you take it apart. You don't know how to put it back together. So let's just take it apart. Just push the side in, push it up, push the other side in, push it up, and then you got your spring there, and then this is your reel. Now on this reel, there's, there's an L on one side and an R on the other. The L is supposed to be facing up when it's reverse threads. If you have a curved shaft, it's usually the R is up. So we're going to uh, do a straight shaft type. So we're going to keep the L up, put it back in, snap this back together. And then I've already cut about three arm lengths of, of uh, line here. So what you do is you, you, you turn this head, there's an arrow here, you line it up with that, the uh, eyelet there. So on both sides there's an arrow on top, but there's a little point there. So what you do, you take your line, you should be able to feed it straight through. So you feed it straight through, and then you basically just even them out. Let's see. So we've evened it out. When you have it on the weeder, it's probably easier because you can just set it on the ground. Okay, so you're on the weeder, got it evened out. You take this and you wind it, you hold this, and then you wind it clockwise. And then that winds your line in there. And then you don't want to run your line too long. You always want to keep your um, guard on because that will cut your line at a certain length. And so just make sure you do that because if you run it too long, it's going to mess up your engine. So I've got a little bit longer on one side than the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this one. About there. All right, that's your Echo Speed Feed. Okay, next up we've got the Echomatic trimmer head. Now this one has a little white button. I don't know if you can see that there. But to take this, this out, this reel out, rope reel out, you turn it until it, just turn it to the right, until it clicks. You can see that it popped in there and you can pull it straight out like that. And then this one just has a single um, reel there. Some have double, but it's basically the same idea. So what you do is you take, I've got two um, pieces of line here that are cut by about two arms lengths on each of them. So you just stick it through the hole there. Let's see, we're going to wind it this way. So we want to wind it against, we want to bend it opposite of which way you're going to wind it. So it says wind line that way. So I'm going to stick it in like that on that one side. Then the other side, I'm going to stick it through the, the other way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend them over. Just hold them. See, I'm winding with the arrows there. Just wind it up. I gotta make it sound like it's tough because, you know, <laughs> not that tough, but just wind them all up. Let's see. Keep an eye on it. Okay, so I got one. Let's see, this one's a little short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this up through this hole here. Just like that. I'm gonna keep the other one going around. I'm gonna clip it into that hole there. Okay, so I got two going out there. So what I do is I just feed these lines through the eyelet. Like that. The other one through the other eyelet. Bring it back over. Kind of. this just, these just line up with those holes there. And then as you push down, you just pull that out. Make sure they're free. 
and then you turn it back the other way to lock it. There you go. So you should be able to pull it out. And then you always want to make sure you cut your line. You don't want too much. Uh, since I don't have it on the uh, weeder, I usually just cut it to the eyelet, but that's about the length that they usually are. So cut that off, cut this guy off. Ready to go. Okay, so next we've got the Still AutoCut 25-2. Uh, I'm going to pull the head off and then we'll uh, wind this one up. These are a little tight usually when they're brand new, so I'm going to use a big screwdriver. So what I do is I just kind of stick it down here, push that in, and I've used sticks before too, so I got it started there, move around to the other side, so I've got them both out there. Pull that out, and then there's your reel. Now this one, you actually put the end of the line into these little slots. So I'm going to start one on one slot, and then do one on the other side. So this one here, I'll put in that slot. Just push it in. It'll go up to 105 line. I've got 95 line here right now. And that's usually what comes with it. So I'm going to do this in the other slot here. And then again, you're bending it against the, the way that you put it in there. So, and it tells you which way to wind it on the other side here. So I'm going to bend them both. And then just start winding. This one's got this split uh, reel. So one line goes in one reel or one side and one line goes in the other side there. Line that up. Of course, if you're using a thicker line, it's not going to take as much. This is about maybe one and a half arm lengths of each. I'm sure there's a measurement, but it's just easier to pull a couple arm lengths out and go with it, you know. Because when you're out in the field, you don't usually have a tape measure on you anyway, so that's kind of my method, mythology. <laughs> All right. And then you just bring it to the middle there. And then you pop one out that way. Pop the next one out that way. And then what you do is you pop this in. Of course, I got a little long. I usually turn it, you push down, turn it till these line up and it'll hold it down there with the spring. Pull that down, pull that down. Pop your lid back on. Then you pull. This pops it back out. Of course you want to trim your line again. Up there. There and that's the still head. Okay, next up we have the Husqvarna T25 head. Uh, basically the same thing. You want to do one side at a time. So I push this in, push it down, start that side, start this other side, and then pull it up. And then you can pull the rope reel up, there. just like that. Okay, and this shows you which way to wrap the line. So it goes that way. So I've cut I don't know three arm lengths of line here. Let me just even it out. Let's kind of find the two ends. Okay, so I've got the two ends here. Just line, line them up. And what I want to do is I just want to put like a crease in it. Okay, so I've got it evened out and I basically just kind of bend the loop there. Grab this reel here and just look at the arrows here. You can see that uh, it needs to be wound that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it like that and then wind it the direction that they want you to go here. So the main thing is to try to get these two over top of that loop when you get going there and it'll hold it in place. Just like that. Okay, and then you can just wind it. And wind it and wind it some more and even more until let's see 
end is in sight here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got it kind of short there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide it. I'm going to put one up here, feed it through that little hook, and then this isn't going to make it all the way around, so I'm just going to backtrack here and then hook it in that one there. Okay, so we got that hooked in there. And what you do on these guys, you just push it through here. It's kind of nice because you just pull it out there. Pull it out there. Oops. And then you just line this up with these tabs. Just push it down just like that. Snap, and it's ready to go. And again, you want to cut it. You don't want it too long. Cut it about there. Okay, and the nice thing about these Husqvarna ones is they'll fit on a Makita and vice versa. So if you need a head and you can't find one, you can either use a Makita or a Husqvarna on, on either the Makita or the Husqvarna one. So, okay, that's the Husqvarna. Okay, now the Makita head looks a lot like the Husqvarna one, but it's a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll take this off, push the button in, push it away, push it away. And then your reel comes up right there so we don't have any cap like we had on the Husqvarna but this is within the reel there so I'll do the same thing with the line Just line up the ends just like that and I probably got I don't know three arm lengths again and then you just pull it to where it's gonna bend there just do a bend See which way it's to roll. And we're left-handed. So this is says left hand there, right hand. I don't know if you can see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the hook and then we're going to reel it that way because it's left-handed. It's left-handed because it's on a straight shaft. If it was right-handed, it would be on a curved shaft. So same thing, wind it up, wind it over top of the, the other thing there to hold it in place. If you get one of them, you're good. So. Line this up. And this is 095 line again, so you can go up to 105 on any of these pretty much. Uh, you don't want to go any thicker because it's not going to work. Um, if you want to go thicker, you can, you know, do the type of head that you just cut little pieces and then you insert it in. Okay, so pretty close there. Let's see here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, hook that in. Come up on the other side, hook that in. Nice thing about this is you just drop it in here. Line it up with your bow eyelets. Pull that down, pull that down, and then you can just put your back plate on. Of course, you'd have this on your weeder, so you'd just be going forward on your weeder, just line up those. Pull it, ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to trim it up again. This one's fine. Just trim this side a little bit. Next, we're going to put it back on our weeder. Okay, now we're going to put the head back on the weeder. Uh, this one is a similar to a lot of, this is a Makita right now, but uh, still is similar where you have a hole on top. What you want to do is you want to put, like you usually get a tool like this in your kit, and you would put that in the hole. Like that, but this one is too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little screwdriver. Just going to put that in the hole, and then take the head, and it's reverse thread. So you wind it on backwards, like you're loosening it. Spin it on, and see that that screwdriver will hold it in there, and you just tighten it. That's on. Now the Echo head is a little bit different. Echo has their slot in the side here. So you can see it there. So you spin this around till this lines up with that slot. Again, I think this is too big. Let's see here. Oh, that fits. Okay, so I'm gonna take this head off. So what I do is I turn it to the right because it's reverse threads. If it was a curved shaft, it'd, it'd be normal 
we just loosen, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. But since it's a straight shaft, it's reverse. So you just spin that off, take it off, put it back on. So you act like you're loosening this, spin it to the left, tighten that up, and you're good to go. Okay, again, this is Tom from North County Lawnmower. Hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching.